today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to calibrate your US 6011 indicator. Before we start this calibration procedure, you first want to make sure that you have some known weights in order to calibrate your scale. We typically recommend using at least 10% of your max capacity and calibration weights in order to calibrate the scale. So with this 5,000 pound scale, we typically would use 500 pounds to calibrate it with. But for this demonstration, we're going to keep it easy and we're going to use 100 pounds. Now, before we start with the calibration, what you'll notice here is you have some different arrows. You have left, right, up, down, and print. These buttons are gonna be used in order to do the calibration. To start, we'll turn on the display. Now, to enter the calibration procedure, you're going to first press the hold and the print button at the same time. This will take you to C01. We're going to head, uh, go ahead and hit the print button. Now C12, this is going to be where you want to select the units of measurement that you'd like to calibrate in. So one would be kilograms, two would be pounds, three would be ounces, and four would be grams. For this video, we're going to do this in pounds, and we're going to hit the print button to select that. C02, we'll hit print. This is going to be the decimal places. So zero would be just your full digit. This would be one decimal place, two, three, four. So we're gonna leave it at zero. We're gonna hit print. C03, we'll hit print. C31, now this is gonna be the increments the scale counts in. So one pound increments would be one, two, three, four, five, two, four, six, eight, ten. 5, 10, 15, 20, and you get the idea. So you can select what increments the scale will count in. For this floor scale, we're just gonna keep it at one pound increments, and we'll press the print button to confirm. C04, we'll hit the print button. This is going to be the capacity of the scale. You can change this by using these arrows up and down here. So for instance, if I wanted to change this to a thousand, I'd hit the unit button to move left, and then the zero or the tear button to go down or up in value. So for this video, we're doing, we have a 5,000 pound scale. We're gonna just go ahead and move it back to 5,000 and we're gonna hit print to enter. C05, we'll hit print. Now this is going to be our zero point calibration. Basically, we need to make sure that our platform is completely empty. There's nothing on the scale. If that's all correct, we're going to hit the zero button to change this to the number one. And then we're going to hit the print button to confirm this. After your countdown ends, you're gonna hit your print button. This is gonna take us to C06 and we'll hit print again. Then we're going to change this to the number one by pressing zero and we're gonna hit print. It will say span and then it's gonna take us into the area where we can enter in our known weight. So for instance, if you had 500 pounds, you would use the buttons here to change this and go up to 500 and that would be your calibration weight. For this video, we're using 100, so I'll change it to 100 and I'm gonna go ahead and load those weights onto the scale. All right, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and hit the print button and it's gonna go ahead and do another countdown to zero. Once that's complete, we'll hit the print button to confirm and it's gonna say C07. Now we're finished with calibration and we want to exit our calibration. We're going to hit this accumulation button, the one that has the up arrow. All right, now it's zero. So what we're gonna do is turn this off. We're gonna take the weights off the scale. And then we're going to turn the display back on. Oops. All right, now we're back at zero. We're gonna test the accuracy of the scale by placing our known weights back on the scale. And if done correctly, you should see 100 pounds and your calibration would be complete. Thank you for watching. If you do have any questions and would like to speak with a technician over the phone, we'd be happy to go through the calibration procedure or answer any technical questions. Our direct line is 800. 711 2237, or you can email us sales at usamessurements.com. Thank you for watching.